Hi guys, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Celicia. Today we're gonna do a little bit of harvesting. I'm gonna collect all of my beets. We've been harvesting the beets on and off for the past couple of weeks, but I wanna get them all out of the ground so I can do a second planting of the beets so we have something to harvest in the next four to six weeks or so. I'm also gonna plant some brassicas and some fall crops so that we have something growing once all of these summer crops are ready. So let's go harvest. All right, so I have some of my peas here that I need to harvest. The more we harvest these, the more they'll continue to produce. So I'm gonna harvest all of the bigger ones and we'll see what else we have that we can harvest. I have one or two small cucumbers that I'm going to pick off of here. It's a small one. Okay, so I'm just going to collect a little bit of this oregano. It'll encourage it to grow the more I harvest. I'm just going to take the very tops off. Harvest some of the parsley here. When I'm harvesting them, I'm going right above one of the growth nodes here. So, like right here, I'll pick off that one. So I have some parsley here. All right, let's go get some herbs from the other side of the garden. Get some of this sage here. Okay guys, so I'm in the garden right now in my main garden where I have all of my beets planted. They're so ready for harvesting. I've been harvesting all of the big ones and letting the small ones continue to grow, but I'm gonna harvest them all and do a second crop. I'm also gonna use these stickers that I got from Roots and Refuge Farm. I'll leave a link to their channel um, in the description below. They don't need me obviously, but I really like the stickers and what I'm gonna do with them is I'm not gonna put them on notebooks or anything like that like I've seen I'm actually gonna put them on my little plant labels here and uh, I'm gonna stick that into the ground or in the containers that I'm planting so I'm gonna do beets and it looks like there's a little red bead or I'm just gonna peel it off and I'm gonna put the sticker right on here like that I really like these stickers for that. Um, I will buy more just for this purpose alone. Okay, so let's go ahead and harvest all of these beets and a second planting of our beets. See this little one, I can plant it right back in the ground, like so, and it'll continue to grow for me. So I'll do that, and we'll finish harvesting the rest.
Okay, let's see how much we have all together in this one row. Look at all these beets, you guys. <laughs> so exciting. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I left all of the small ones still in the holes so they can continue to grow. Pretty good harvest. All right, so I have these really tiny ones here that you can see it's really small. I'm actually just going to cover that back up and uh, just let that continue to grow. I'm also going to put a little couple of seeds in here so that I can have some succession sowing in the next month, month and a half. I'll be able to harvest the last batch of beets from here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me get some beet seeds. Okay, so it's the Chigogia Guardsmark beet. And these are a striped beet. They're really, really quite beautiful. They're like a pink and white stripy beet. My, they're my absolute favorite beets to grow. So right beside this, I'm literally just gonna stick my finger and just sprinkle in like three or four seeds. Do three and I'm just gonna cover it up like that really really easily right beside the ones I've already harvested so there's some already here I'm just gonna stick my finger and sprinkle in three seeds just gently cover that back up that way when this one is ready we'll have these ones coming up and they'll almost be ready so succession sowing I'm just gonna continue and finish this off so that we have another row of beets for the fall. So here's my harvest for today. Just one small cucumber, handful of peas, basil, some wild oregano, some parsley, and sage. And my entire one row harvest of my red beets. Really proud of this harvest, guys. Like, we have so many beautiful beets here. And we also have some herbs, and some of our veggies are just starting to come in now. I'm super proud of it. Well, guys, thank you for joining me for this video and harvesting all of my beautiful beets, herbs, and some of my vegetables. We've had so much fun today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay peaceful, bye.